What's up, YouTube? This is Donovan, the Smartphone Guy, and uh, I'm here to do uh, one of the most exciting reviews I've ever done, and that is for this, uh, we'll call it a flying camera, and that's actually what Unique calls it. So this is from Unique. Um, that's the name of the company that uh, makes this drone, and this is called their Breeze 4K flying drone or flying camera. And uh, the reason why it's called a flying camera is because this is definitely a camera that just happens to fly, um, but it is also a very, very stable and good drone as well. So um, this will run you $500, and uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description uh, for uh, Amazon. And uh, it isn't currently available. It'll be available October 6th. And uh, let me just say that this thing is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, um, some of the features that you get with it, so there's two batteries, so this is the battery that it comes with. I'm not going to pop it out because you can see that I actually have it on right now. Um, and on the front we have a 4K camera, so 4K for video, and 13 megapixel. Um, it is a very, very stable camera. And in terms of the actual drone itself, the flying is just is effortless. Um, easily of the drones that I've flown, um, the most stable and uh, easy to control. Um, so this, of course, these will open up as it's flying, um, but we have a little some little footings there to also open up so that when you're landing, you're not landing directly on the ground um, because as you can see, there's some sensors down here uh, that obviously could break uh, if you land. Now, one nice thing about this is that it does have uh, a auto land which makes it super super easy to land this thing um, but that is the actual drone um, the build quality is definitely very durable um, it has GPS built in also an indoor positioning system built into it um, so it is capable of flying indoors as well um, so if you need to do an indoor shot it's great for that now one thing I will mention is that this thing does need some decent light uh, in order to take the quality pictures that it's capable of um, so it's very, uh, I would say, comparable to some of the higher-end cameras that you find on smartphones today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside for just a moment so we can take a look at the carrying case that it comes with. So this is the case that it comes in. Uh, and one of the things that I think is just fantastic about this drone is the carrying case um, because it's perfect for taking in like your backpack um, for a hiking trip or a trip to the beach or whatever because this thing is so stable at flying that you have no problem flying it over the water um, because uh, it, it really is so easy to control. Um, and that's true in the wind or without the wind. It doesn't really matter. This thing just is very stable. Um, so these are the guards that it comes with. And I'll say that the one negative um, that I've found is these guards. And the reason is because they're very flimsy and plasticky. Um, very easy to break if you were to run into something. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're chintzy. The drone itself is not, um, the wings maybe just a little bit, or the, the flaps here, the, I don't know what you even call them. But anyways, those, those are a little bit cheaply built, but you also get a whole bunch of extras, uh, or spares, uh, with the drone itself. So even if you were to break a couple, you'd have plenty to, uh, to back it up. So that is the carrying case it comes with, which is very nice. It holds everything except the actual charger. Um, it will hold both batteries, so one battery will hold, sit in here. So actually, let's go ahead and show that. So oh, gotta shut these. Shut these up. And then it sits right in here. And you can easily carry this with you in your backpack then. Um, so yeah. There you go. So that's how that fits. So I'm going to go ahead and set that over here. And uh, here's the actual charger. So it comes with two batteries, like I mentioned, and uh, each is 1150. They're lithium polymer batteries. And uh, they last about 10 to 12 minutes, so enough time to get a good shot in. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. And so next thing we're going to do is pull out the controller. If I can find my controller, where did I put it? Ah, here it is my iPad. So this it does not come with a controller. There's my daughter. And uh, let's go ahead. Ooh, what am I doing? Wrong password there. Oh, wrong one again. That's what happens when I'm trying to do it on a camera. All right. There's my other daughter. And uh, in order to fly this thing, we're going to go into settings uh, and we're going to find the Wi-Fi for this. And I think it might have already shut off. It has because uh, it knows that, hey, we haven't found you haven't been using me for a while, so it shuts off on, on its own. Um, let's go ahead, now that it's turned on, let's see if we can get 
the Wi-Fi signal. So let's go back in here, go out and go back in, see if we can find that Wi-Fi. There it is. All right. So now it's connected to it. Um, I'm actually going to set this outside of there because um, I might actually get it started here. I'm not actually going to fly it, um, but we'll set it over to the side here just so you can see what it looks like. All right. So now that we're connected, we can go into the app here, the Breeze Cam app, and uh, you can just see some pictures. Now that isn't showing you the actual quality of the pictures. Let's go back here. And oh, there's some videos that we had. So here you go. Um, see, there's some videos that were shot with the actual drone. Um, so some pictures, some videos. Let's see if we can get that video to actually. Well, it has to be downloaded first. So we're gonna go back. We'll show you some video a little bit later. Um, so some tasks that it has available. So actually, you can see that the camera is currently working. So we have a number of modes here. We have pilot mode, which allows you to essentially fly it like any other drone. Um, we have selfie mode, um, which is a very like beginner's uh, friendly uh, orbit mode, which will give it a 360 spin around some particular object, which is really nice. Journey, you can set a journey for the Breeze uh, dash camera, or not dash camera, what are we talking about? This is a drone. And uh, then we have the follow me, which will actually allow this thing to follow you um, as you're walking along or whatever you might be doing. So let's go ahead and go into pilot mode just so you can see. Uh, let's see, slide to proceed. Um, so there's all of the, so you can see that the drone is currently turned on. Now it's looking at me. All right, so there's the camera and we can turn around and put it up a little bit. All right, so you can see that in low light, camera's not amazing. All right, lost GPS, panic. All right, um, so those are just some of the modes that are available. Okay, so now it's found GPS again. Um, but anyways, it's just indoor GPS here. So right here we can see that it gives us the battery life of the actual um, device or the actual drone here. So it's down to 18% at the moment, um, but it is ready to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, that pretty much covers everything that you need to know about it. Um, very, very simple to fly, very stable. And you'll see that in some of the pictures I'm going to show you, some of the video I'm going to show you. And then also I'll show you just some of the examples of quality of video that it takes while it's flying and how stable that is as well. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop my part of this and now you'll go ahead and take a look at, and first of all, let me apologize. My daughter is the one that was uh, videoing uh, with my other phone, uh, the actual uh, flying of this uh, drone. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. My recommendation is if you are someone who wants good photos from a drone, this is the one to get. The Breeze from Unique. Thanks for watching. Peace.